Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 is once again directed and written by James Gunn. It stars everybody from the first film pretty much, and we have new additions such as Sylvester Stallone and Kurt Russell. It's Guardians of the Galaxy 2. I mean, what else can you say about it? This is the sequel to the awesome first film. It's my personal favorite MCU movie. Not the best one, in my opinion, but it's my favorite one. So in this movie, we follow the lineage of Star Wars. We find out, like, what happened to his father. Who's his father? We go on more of these adventures, and, you know, there, there's really no plot to this movie. And you guys don't care about the plot, do you? Anyways, this is one of my most anticipated films of the year, and a lot of people were excited for this movie. The first one was such a surprise and so different from Marvel, like typical MCU movies, that everyone was like, oh my god, I love these characters, I love this story, I love this film. So naturally, we were all excited for the sequel, and you know, with additions like Stallone and Kurt Russell and a few other people added to the cast, you know that you were in for quite a ride. And while the movie is very good, I have to say this right now, it's not as good as the first, I don't think it's a great movie. It has problems, some big issues, but in the end, it was still a blast, and I really had a fun time with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Now, James Gunn kept on saying that this was going to be bigger and more insane than the first when it comes to its scope, and it definitely is. I mean, the visuals in this movie are absolutely breathtaking. Beautiful eye candy, just applauding visuals. Like, this will be nominated for Best Visual Effects. I love the makeup as usual. Like the makeup in the first film was so great that it almost won an Academy Award. It even got nominated for an Academy Award. What would happen again with this one? I wouldn't be surprised if it happens. I love the look of the movie. I thought this film was very well shot. I love the soundtrack. The actors jump back into their roles. I thought that all of them were great once again. Um, I particularly loved Michael Worker as Yondu. I liked him a lot in the first film, but, you know, he really didn't have that much to do in the first film. Now, in this one, though, there's a really heartbreaking emotional attachment to him, and you actually feel really sad for the character, and I thought Worker was terrific. He also had really great lines, and the movie is absolutely funny. You know, you go into this movie, and you're like, oh, is it gonna make me laugh? Oh, it certainly does. I laughed a lot during this movie. Some of the jokes made me go, no. Oh. No, that wasn't very good. However, for the most part, this is a very well-written movie. Excellent, just great comedy written once again by James Gunn. The movie was fast-paced for the most part. There were a few slow moments in the movie, mainly the beginning. The beginning was a tad chunky, but I was still like, okay, I'm still enjoying the movie for what it is. But the first hour is kind of all over the place. But then once you get past that first hour, it gets so much better. How's Kurt Russell, people are wondering. I thought he was fantastic. I love Kurt Russell, and you know, he's having this resurgence now. I think the Hateful Eight brought him back, and he never went anywhere. He was in a few movies, but Hateful Eight, Bone Tomahawk, the guy is now in so many movies, it's awesome. Kurt Russell, though, great addition to the cast. I wish they ran his character a little bit better, but his performance was really great. And you know, you want to see that charm from Kurt Russell? You get that charm from Kurt Russell, because Kurt Russell is so freaking likable. I love that man so much. It's hard not to like him. And, you know, you could see his charm being channeled by Chris Pratt in this movie, who, I, I gotta be honest with you, I I've always liked Chris Pratt. I've always found him to be a talented comedic actor. He is good in movies outside, like Guardians of the Galaxy and Jurassic World. Like, he was good in Magnificent Seven. Passengers was a bad movie, and, you know, he wasn't very good in it. But he's been good in other movies, and obviously he was Grand Parks and Rec. But there are many emotional moments in this movie, and particularly at the end with Star Wars, Chris Pratt, like, he was incredible. Like, he was fantastic. I mean, he was great in the first film, of course. And, you know, he still has that Star Wars charm to him. But in this movie, there's an emotional layer to him. And I thought he nailed it perfectly. Baby Groot, awesome in the movie. I just had a great time in the movie. Now, like I said, the first hour is clunky. It's all over the place. We get introduced to these gold people that... I'll be honest with you, I absolutely did not enjoy watching them on screen. When they were on screen, I'm like, could you get out of here? Uh, bye, Felicia. But I'm curious to see more of them, like, if they're going to be in any future installments. No spoilers, of course, but I'm curious to know. It's just that, unfortunately, they weren't that great of villains in the movie. And, you know, Marvel has not really been the best with villains in their movies, but... At least they tried. In the end, I really had a good time with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Not as good as the first movie. I'm going to say that. 
it had some problems with its pacing, but the acting was great. Visually, it was appalling. The soundtrack was incredible. I had a really fun time with the movie. I will just say this, that in the end, it is just a good movie. Will I see this again? I actually do want to see it again just to pick up on things that I didn't notice the first time around. I'm going to give Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 a B+. Plus. Guys, tell me what you thought of this movie. If you saw it, what is your favorite MCU film th thus far? Thank you guys so much for watching this review, and I'll see you guys soon.